Hey, how's everybody doing? This is JJ with Deluxe Vehicle Detailing and Paint Correction here in my beautiful kitchen in Seminole, Florida. And I am on part four of uh, just a little series of how to look like a professional, how to pick out some clothing on a budget, how to maybe, uh, you know, have all the guys in your crew. Maybe you've got a mobile crew. You want everybody to look uniform. Yes, that was a little play on words. You want everyone to look professional. You want them all to look the same. It makes people feel good, especially people that have, you know, multi-million dollar homes and you pull up and your, your truck looks nice and the guys get out of the truck and they're all in matching uniforms. They've got your branding. I've got logos. Um, my, my new logo just got made. It is on my channel. It is on my Facebook, it's on my Google, my business, it's soon to be on my Instagram, which doesn't exist yet, but will soon. And uh, on many various other sites as well, LinkedIn, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, this is uh, just a, uh, a step four in a part of uh, discussion I would like to have with everyone of just looking like a professional, making yourself look very presentable, um, even if you're a solo operator such as myself, I do my initial uh, estimate and consult uh, free of charge. I go and I look at the boat or the jet ski or the car or the motorcycle or sometimes they bring it to me and um, and so I do an assessment and I give them an estimate because um, doing an estimate without seeing the vehicle is uh, a recipe for financially mistake and inefficiency in your pricing. So I've got a various ways to do that. I'll be discussing some business aspects and I just got about $8,000 worth of new equipment uh, just in the last month. So I'm gonna be showing you some uh, amazing things. Uh, subscribe, like, share, comment, do all the things you want to do. Help me get to a thousand. I uh, really want to hit a, a thousand subscriptions. It'll help me uh, advance my goals. And uh, I just uh, am looking for some help here. So please help me. Um, I did skip over some warm gear that I picked up along with the pants. And this is just real quick. This happens to be LW, which stands for whatever it stands for, level wear. Um, this is more of a professional look when you need to stay warm. This is just a, you know, this is really just a pullover sweat top with a zipper. But again, you look nice. Um, you know, I'm going to be in these shirts working. Um, and if I need to stay warm, I'll have my long pants. And this, um, this retails at $30. Again, Bell's Outlet, uh, 13 bucks. I thought it was well worth it. It's a nice pullover. It's a dark color. If I am working, working in it, um, you know, it's it's dark. It's not going to stain. And this is made in China. And here are the numbers in case you're trying to search for this on the Level Wear site, which I don't know anything about. Speaking of working, so this is... I'll try and back up a little bit here. I put the I put the camera back a bit. So this is what I'm going to wear as my work shirt. Um, there is nothing on the back, but it's got the low big cut. Sorry to show you my nipple there. Um, it's got the low cut uh, sleeves. They have these at Walmart, right? I bought eight of them. They're gonna last me a little bit. I'm probably going to keep them in rotation as they get dirty. I'll throw them out. It is fall, it is mid-September as I'm filming this. And uh, this is Fruit of the Loom Platinum, right? Fruit of the Loom Platinum, dual defense technology, wicking, odor protection. I noticed a lot of the clothing as I looked around in some stores the other day, they've all got this UPF, this like sunscreen built in. I didn't know sun was going through my clothes before, but apparently they're promoting and marketing hype um, different things. My pants have a 30 UPF. 
these Fruit of the Loom have a 20 UPF. I will show you here. We're talking about 40% cotton, 40% polyester, and it does not list the other 20%. That's interesting. I'll show you the built-in tag. Probably not the best, but if you want to pause the video and zoom that in, you can find these. Um, here, this will probably uh, give me some more information. Men's, size large, grande. Printing is too small, I'm not going to grab my glasses. IntelliFresh, powered by IntelliFresh, all day freshness protection. 442 at Walmart, bought them last week, bam, it is fall and all the t-shirts are on sale. Uh, what kind of made me not not prompt this because I'm 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 stepping up my game. I'm I've increased my you know my arsenal and um, I'm increasing my you know look to the public. Right? Again, branding logo during this whole COVID pandemic. I've had a lot of time to look at webinars and marketing gurus trying to you know get several hundred dollars from me and never paid any of them, but. Uh, I was on Obsessed Garage site the other day, and they had an art, uh, you know, a, 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 a post, and the guy, and there was, you know, 115, you know, comments and replies afterwards, and the guy said, hey, I'm looking for some comfortable t-shirts to be outdoors in. Like, it was really that random. And all these people are piling on with Lululemon. And, you know, if you know anything about Obsessed Garage, you know they're obsessed. And the majority of that group seems to have some really high dollars. Um, sometimes more than cents. I actually, the first video I made, which will be the first in this series uh, that I upload, actually the last because I'll be doing the reverse order, um, I thought about posting on the uh, on the on the site with the shoe that I paid like hundred and eighty dollars for this detailing shoes and like go through this whole thing and then at the end go oh by the way they were less than thirty dollars at Walmart I kind of thought that would be hilarious for Obsessed Garage love you all if you're watching I may post <laughs> I may post that don't hate <laughs> I just think you guys are funny about how you know you think. A fifteen hundred dollar pressure washer is the way to go. Which, yeah, man, if you've got the money, and y you know you want the best, totally understand. I do the same thing. Don't don't think I'm you know slagging on anyone. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you the work look. Okay, the work look is going to be just you know cotton polyester blend. They wash easy. They've got some, you know, deodorizer type mentality to them. If you've been watching this series, you know that I'm actually, I, I washed, I washed and dried uh, all of these. The ones I'm wearing and these uh, six shirts, right? However, I left one back because I wanted to be able to review these for you guys and tell you, like, was there a change after I uh, cold water washed in all free and clear along with two pours of uh, distilled white vinegar in the bleach port? Um, and when I say two pours, I just kind of fill that little plastic thing up and let it drain down and then I fill it up and let it drain down. I do the same thing with all my microfiber towel washings. Um, no change, no color change, uh, did dry them. They came out of the dryer, you know, just like this. This one hasn't been washed. Maybe just that ever so slight difference. I've had these kind of crumpled up here and stuff for a bit. So anyway, on Obsessed Garage, this obsessive, you know, conversation about these, you know, $45 t-shirts and all these different links, three bucks, Fruit of the Loom, Platinum, 
wicking, drying, smell technology, UPF protection. What, what more do you want? It's a work shirt. Um, this will be like my go-to work shirt from now on. And I will always be wearing uh, the most amazing shorts I found. And in the next video, I'm going to share with you uh, what it has to say on the website, um, pretty much. And uh, share my uh, last, uh, last video of the morning. And uh, then I will be uploading all these in reverse order. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Bing! No, that wasn't slow motion. It was just me. Um, but I, uh, I plan on uh, hitting 1,000 subscriptions, and I need like 400 of you to help me with that because it will help my analytics. It will help me be able to be an affiliate member for Amazon and Walmart and actually get a tiny little kickback when I provide you links of things. So anyway, I'm trying to help you out, help me out, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, these, if you've jumped into the middle and you're like just checking this out, like I said, reverse order, go back, find the, uh, um, you know, I think it's uh, detailing gear, shoes, shirts, shorts, look professional, be comfortable. I think I'm going to kind of individually, you know, emphasize the like shoes or the socks or the shirts or the shorts or whatever. Um, throughout the series. So anyway, I uh, thank you as always and I will catch you on the flip side. Enjoy making your vehicles beautiful. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks a lot. Take care.